and hello everybody it is single here and welcome welcome back to my channel I hope y'all are doing super super duper well and today guys I'm going to be decorating my brother's brand new Washington DC apartment the way that I would decorate his apartment if he let me decorate it and I'm gonna do it in the Sims I will put the floor plan up right now so you guys can see it is a two bedroom two bathroom with a living room a small little dining room situation as well as a kitchen with an island countertop thingy my bobber and they get a deck on the side as well so I have recreated that layout in the Sims already and then you guys are just gonna see how I would personally decorate it for my brother not for myself for my brother which actually served as a challenge because I tried to make it a little more masculine and more of his style obviously than I would normally decorate an apartment such as this so it was a challenge I can't wait for you guys to see it but before we get into it my friends if you are new and you are just seeing my face now hello my name is Mac Dingle M-A-C-D-I-N-G-L-E I live in Portland Maine with my husband Jack yes Mac and Jack make sure you hit the subscribe button down below because we upload videos every single Monday Wednesday and Friday on this channel everyone do not forget to give this video a big old thumbs up and since this is a very Sims focused video I want to let you know that we do stream on Twitch on Tuesdays and Thursdays and it's such a fun time so make sure you check out that link below if you enjoy watching live streams on Twitch and want to come over for more Sims content. Okay, I think that's everything that I wanted to say. So let's hop into decorating my brother's new apartment. Okay, so right before I wrapped up this build, Jack came over and I was like, hey, look, it's Gabe's apartment. And he was like, oh, it looks a little femme. And I'm like, gosh, darn it. <laughs> because I spent so much time like trying to make it look a little more masculine but maybe we just added too many plans I'm not really sure but anyway guys we are starting in the kitchen and I tried to introduce a lot of different natural woods and I can definitely see how this could look not really like a man cave apartment like as it gets developed like Gabe would not decorate his apartment like this so again Again, this is just how I would decorate his apartment for him. If it was for me, I would definitely add a little bit more, I don't know, like some like pale pinks or, you know, like some, some more colors and just more patterns, I guess, a little more patterns and things, but it definitely is my neutral vibe, but with a more modern flair, I would say. And I am not a very modern type of person so I look at this apartment and it's not necessarily an apartment that I would like to live in and who knows Gabe might also not want to live in it either but you know it turned out I think I like I like the screenshots just wait for all the screenshots at the end I'm kind of excited about it but I decided to leave the kitchen there and I put those wooden panels like on the side that you see just for a little extra texture I'm not necessarily sure if the apartment apartment would allow something like that but I did start with as close to the base as I possibly could the floor plan itself showed that the flooring was a little more gray but Gabe sent me a video of a walkthrough of the apartment and it definitely had a darker wood flooring as well as some brownish carpets in the bedrooms that you guys will see and I noticed that all of the walls were white and if you know anything Thing about me I was very happy to have that neutral clean slate and yeah I just couldn't help but go with a neutral vibe I had Gabe over the other weekend for I think it was Jack's birthday and he was showing the apartment and we were like Pinteresting a couple of things and I showed him a couple of like examples of kind of the neutral type of like trendy tones that are you know on trend right now and um, just like a little more masculine like feel to them and he seemed to enjoy it so who knows this might not be the vibe that he is going for I can't wait to see his reaction to it I might FaceTime him after this to show him his apartment and how I would decorate it and he might be like thank god thank god the lord that you are not decorating this apartment for me but hey if you are a guy and you are watching this would you like this apartment 
comment down below would you like this apartment if you walked in would you be like yeah this is good or would you be like no nah, this has way too much girl power going on in it I'm not really sure if this is for me I can't really decide part of me thinks it is something that is a little too feminine for my brother's taste but you never know it could be I'm not really sure but yeah I didn't know what to do with this wall I think we ended up taking everything that I just did out of it um, and I think we've ended up putting like a really big shelving unit shelves have been so awesome in the sims lately with all of these just like extra like options and things the other thing that was tough was this area rug I ended up doing the bracket type of cheat code thingy bobber to make that small rug just a bigger one and I was going to go with this black rug I really was and then I think last minute I switched it to white and part of me thinks that was a mistake I think the black kind of makes it a little more Gabe style and like just like takes a little bit of the feminine touch away from it but then I went white because I just liked it and I don't know I'm so undecided about it but I'm really excited for Gabe just a backstory I know I didn't give a lot of information in the beginning but Gabe is a graduate of college officially yes he has his diploma it's official and he has a job outside of school in Washington in DC so him and his roommate who he knows from college are going to move into this unit together in Washington DC I cannot wait to visit him you know that we are going to vlog it absolutely so if you're into vlogs and things like that and you want to see what he ends up doing with this apartment in real life make sure you are subscribed I can't wait to go down there I think we're going to go to DC sometime in July so like this month you guys so if you want to see what this looks like in real life and how he ends up decorating it make sure to stay tuned for that but yeah we end up putting a shelving unit in there and I mess around with the shelves and what I wanted to put in this bedroom I think that thing that I ended up putting above there I like it but I think it might look a little too clunky I'm not sure this is all not my style I think that's why I'm so uncomfortable with it is I look at this and I'm like yeah bits and pieces in the general idea are definitely my style as far as just the natural woods and the the, you know metals and things like that but for some reason like like I wouldn't be happy completely living in a space like this but if it's not my style it doesn't mean it's not someone else's you know but I'm happy with how it turned out I just wouldn't want to live in it does that make sense I'm not sure if that makes sense so this bedroom here I wanted to make a little more neutral because there are two bedrooms in this place I think Gabe is going with the smaller bedroom but the one that I'm doing right now that you guys see is the bigger one and I just wanted them to have different styles and different feels the first one is extremely neutral I would say and this one is introducing a little bit more color but sticking with like you know a guy's bedroom type of feel a guy that has good taste you know we all know I don't want to like drag anyone but all of the guys that I know that decorate their own bedrooms in real life don't necessarily put up curtains for example put up some good wall art for example but you know if I were decorating a guy's space that is something that I would kind of go with you know what I'm saying and then we go into the bathrooms and their bathrooms are looking really cool honestly like this whole apartment I'm super excited for him about it just it's just so modern it's so new it's so fresh it's so clean for a first apartment outside of college he is killing it you know I can't wait to go visit him and then right outside one of their windows I believe they're able to see the pool it's like a big complex and there's like a pool in the middle of it and like it's just I'm like how did you get this outside of school I'm like how did you score look how big this is I think it's like 1100 square feet I think this is almost the size or the size of Jack and I's apartment right now but in like Washington DC area I'm like what the actual heck I'm so excited to see it in person and that deck on the outside I'm so jealous of that we had a deck Jack and I had a deck when we lived in Connecticut and that is something that I have missed since Connecticut I don't miss Connecticut whatsoever living there the city we were in I don't miss it at all but the one thing that we did have was this tiny deck and so when we moved to Seattle we didn't have a deck and of course in Portland we don't have a personal deck I just like I just really love the idea of an outdoor space that is completely ours and so yeah <laughs> I just miss that so much 
So the fact that he has one, I'm pumped to see how he ends up decorating or furnishing. I wanted to give him a really big grill out here. I preferred to give him a really big one, but it just like didn't fit the space very well. So we went with that. You could see that I um, refrained from putting up any types of twinkle lights. I felt like that was a little too far and a little too much of what I would personally, you know, put in a house. But let me guys know what you think of the finished product. I know that the pictures might look a little warm, but I think it's so nice. I think if someone walked in here, they might not think that two bachelors live here, but they might think that two bachelors with a really great style, maybe an interior designer helped them out when they were doing this. I'm not really sure, but guys, comment below if you like the space, if it's something that you would live in, or if you like it and it's just not personally your style, I'd really appreciate it. But guys, if you have made it all the way to the end of the video and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, make sure you do so down below. We upload every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Everyone do not forget to give this video a big old thumbs up and don't forget to follow the Twitch channel if you want some more Sims content and I will catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you later. Bye!